All right, well, hey everyone, and welcome back. It is officially autumn, and with the temperatures getting cooler and the change in seasons, it's time to transition my closet from my warm to cool weather clothing. And this is always something that gets me so excited because I just love a good cozy sweater. So that's what we're up to today, and it's a really straightforward process. We're going to start just by getting out all of my clothes and laying them out on the bed behind me. Then we'll decide if there's anything that we want to let go of into declutter. And then finally, we'll put everything back Back in the closet. This is a process that I love going through a couple times a year because it helps keep my more minimal wardrobe feeling fresh and it makes the most seasonally appropriate items in my closet the most accessible. And this is going to be fun, so if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and let's get started. Okay, so like I was saying, the first step in all of this is just to get everything out and lay it on the bed. That way we can easily get a visual overview of all that we have, plus it makes the whole process of switching over your wardrobe a lot easier. So let's head to our closet now and bring everything out. Okay, so all of my clothing is now laid out on the bed behind me. We've got summer clothes, winter clothes, activewear, sleepwear, you name it. All my clothes are on the bed. So now what I want to do is go through it all piece by piece and decide if there's anything that I want to let go of. And I especially want to focus on my clothing from this past season, so my spring and summer clothes. I want to look back and ask myself questions like, how often did I wear this piece of clothing? How did I feel when I wore this item? And is this something that I can see myself wearing next year too? So I want to do that for my spring and summer clothes, but then I also just want to pass over all of my clothing too and just check to make sure that everything's still in good condition and that it fits my personal style. So let's go ahead and do that now, and then once I finish with the cluttering, I'll walk you through what I've decided to let go of and why. <laughs> So I just finished up decluttering and found quite a few things that I want to let go of. I think I have about 10 pieces of clothing and then a few old socks and underwear, things like that. So first up, I have a couple of pieces of active wear. This pair of leggings is just kind of stretched out at this point and they don't fit tight to my body, which is important for working out. And then this shirt is just a bit too small. Okay, and then I have three just basic t-shirts and there's nothing particularly wrong with any of these, but in the past year, I've really found myself reaching for basic tees a lot less frequently. Instead, I've been opting a lot more for casual blouses like the one I'm wearing, and so I just haven't gotten as much wear out of these as I think probably I should in order for them to stay in my closet. I'm still holding on to a few, obviously, because they're great for layering and things like that, but I just didn't think that I needed to keep as many as I had. Okay, and then next is this pair of pants, and I love the concept of these pants in theory, but in practice, I just haven't found that I wear them. I think I've had them for close to a year now and I've only worn them two or three times, which for me just doesn't meet the requirements of something that can stay in my closet. They are great quality though and in really good condition, so I'm probably gonna try selling them. And then I have two tank tops as well. This brown one, I didn't find particularly flattering on my body. It just kind of hit me at a weird angle. And on top of that, I just was never completely sold on the color. I mean, I do like the color, I just didn't feel like it quite fit with my skin tone. And then this black one is one that I got so much wear out of last year and still love, but unfortunately it shrank a bit in the wash and just kind of hits me at a bit of an unflattering place now where there's kind of a gap between the shorts that I'm wearing and the tank top, which it didn't used to. 
and I just, I don't think it looks very good. And then I have this blue dress and honestly, there are just other dresses that I found myself preferring and wearing more this year. And then the final big piece of clothing I have is this hoodie and I think I've just kind of loved this thing to death. It's pilled all over at this point and it has multiple stains that I just can't get out. So I think at this point, this piece of clothing is just worn out. And the same goes for this little pile of socks and underwear. They've just seen better days. So that's everything I'm going to be decluttering. And for those items, what I'm just going to do is go through and piece by piece, decide if I'm going to recycle them, donate them, or sell them. And those are really the three big categories that I like to look at when it comes to decluttering clothing, just to make sure that I can get rid of my items in a responsible way. Now though, it's time to actually do our wardrobe switch over. And I want to go through and decide what spring and summer clothing items I want to put in my off season bin. And then as we do that, I also want to look through my fall and winter clothes to see if there's any holes in my wardrobe that I want to fill as we go into the cooler months. So let's do that now and switch things over. clothes are now switched over and I ended up putting away most of my shorts, t-shirts, all of my tank tops, and then a couple pieces of activewear. And when it comes to putting away my spring and summer clothes, I usually do it in a couple of phases. So this was phase one, but then in a couple of months, probably around November, when the weather really takes a turn for being colder permanently, I'll probably end up putting away some of my extra activewear, the last couple of pairs of shorts that I kept out, and my t-shirts. At this point, there are still some days where I'll reach for them, but kind of towards December, I pretty much exclusively wear pants and sweaters. And then as I was going through my wardrobe, I did also find a few holes in it that I'm wanting to fill. So first, I want to find a few long sleeve tops. As I was going through my clothes, I realized I have literally two long sleeve shirts that aren't sweaters, which really is something that I love wearing at this time of year and just don't have at all. So I'd love to find a couple of those and then something else that's been on my list for a while that I've just known in the background that I wanted to find was a big, cozy, oversized flannel. And I have a really specific vision in my head of what I want from this. I want it to be like blue and white buffalo checked, preferably like a men's flannel, super cozy, and just something I can like put over whatever I'm wearing. Haven't been able to find exactly that yet, but hopefully I'm able to either find that or just some other fun, cozy flannel. And then I'd also love to find a pair of joggers or just some other kind of comfortable, non-denim pant. I'm pretty flexible with color, so long as it matches the rest of my wardrobe, but I just want something that isn't leggings that I can just wear and lounge in. And then finally, I could really use one more sports bra. I've been noticing that I go through them a lot faster now that I'm working out a lot more regularly. And then one or two activewear tops that I can just wear in colder weather would be great too. So I wrote those all down and saved them in a note in my phone. And I think I'm probably going to try going thrifting sometime soon to see if I can fill some of the holes that I identified. Now though, we are on to the final step. And the last thing that we need to do is just to take everything and put it away back in the closet. So let's take a minute and do that now. And then we can wrap this up. Right, well our clothing is now switched over, decluttered, and really just ready for fall. 
And I just love that feeling of excitement that I get whenever I switch over my clothes and I just get to kind of rediscover pieces that I'd put away for the past six months. It's like that small feeling of happiness when you go out and buy a new piece of clothing that you really like, except these are pieces that you already own and you're just able to get them out and start wearing and loving them again. So really happy with all that we accomplished today and I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this process. And of course, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That's everything I've got for you today though. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching and for coming along with me and I'll see you in the next one.